The High Court on Monday ordered opposition leader Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim to defend himself against the charge of sodomizing his former personal assistant, Mohamed Saiful Bukhari Azlan, three years ago. High Court Judge Justice Mohamed Zabidin Mohamed Dia determined that the prosecution has established a prima facie case and that the 63-year-old PKR advisor must enter his defence in a continuation of his trial fixed from June 6 to June 30. The court also ruled that Mohamed Saiful was a credible witness and that his testimony had corroborated with expert witnesses that there was penal penetration and that the victim was at the condominium during the sexual attack as stated in the charge. Justice Mohamed Zabidin made the decision after hearing evidence by the prosecution witnesses and submissions from Solicitor General 2, Dato Mohamed Yusuf Zanal Abidin, who led the prosecution team and the defence counsel led by Karpal Singh. The prosecution concluded their case on March 24th with 26 witnesses testifying during the trial, which started on February 3rd last year. Anwar had pleaded not guilty on August 7, 2008 to committing carnal intercourse against the order of nature at condominium Desa Damansara in Bukit Damansara between 3.10pm and 4.30pm on June 26, 2008. The charge under Section 377B of the Penal Code carries sentencing of up to 20 years jail and whipping. This is the second sodomy charge against Anwar. In 2000, he was charged with sodomizing his wife's driver, Azizan Abu Bakar. He was convicted and sentenced to nine years jail by the High Court, but the Federal Court overturned the conviction four years later and set aside the jail sentence. Anwar had remained composed after he heard the ruling. When ourselves establish our innocence, we will call all available witnesses, including Dr. Sri Najib, who was clearly involved in this case planning and conspiring from the beginning. We will have to call Rosma and we will not want to see the, the, the manner Mahade tried and uh, excuse himself using the court by asking the court to suggest that it's irrelevant to call the Prime Minister. This time we want to seek and know and establish the facts and the truth. Therefore, Naji, Rosma, Musa Hassan, the former Inspector General of Police and Najib staff will have to be called other than the relevant staff, um, uh, relevant uh, witnesses uh, for my defence.